Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to our Wednesday afternoon uh, call. It's uh, March 20th, and uh, we're moving rapidly through the year. And uh, sometimes uh, people have had the questions and concerns about how to use Zoom. And today we have an illustrious MSI with us to guide us through that, give us some uh, tips and information that will help us all. So to Let's uh, move this forward, and I want to introduce uh, Nell Galinsky, and uh, welcome to our call, Nell. Well, thank you, Tom. Um, I am going to um, share my screen with you, and um, I have a PowerPoint to show you how to, from the very beginning, how to get on Zoom, how to sign up for it, and how to work through it. So um, let me just get set up here. And um, I've even done a couple of, um, I found uh, a couple of um, email or not emails, a couple of um, videos that I've attached to this so that um, you can go back and not only go through the PowerPoint later, if you like, but you can also watch the videos that will help you uh, to navigate Zoom. So um, I have a very original a title here zoom presentation <laughs> it works um uh, that was like at 5 30 in the morning that i decided on that it was uh <laughs> um okay how to sign up for zoom first you can go to zoom.us and you're going to click on join which i've got um you can sign up for and i'm not joined but sign up for free i'm sorry you're going to sign up for free you have to verify your age uh you have to be over 18. So you're going to put your birth year in and you're going to click on uh, continue. Then um, you have to enter your email address that you want to sign up with and then click continue. They're going to send you a code to the email address that you signed up with. You have to put that code in and then click verify. Okay, then they want you to create your account. You're going to put in your first name, your last name, and you have to create a password and then click continue. Then you're gonna see this screen, welcome to Zoom, and you're gonna click on let's go. You're gonna skip this page, just go down here and say no thanks. You can sign up for, um, we're signing up for a free account, you're not gonna pay for it. If you wanna sign up for a paid account, you're gonna go through um, Rory's uh, link and sign up and it's like $12.99 a month for unlimited time on uh, Zoom. So I don't really think you need to do that until you're um, like a CSI and you're training students. So um, don't, don't get into this for right now. Don't pay for it. Um, next, you're gonna download Zoom. So you're gonna click download Zoom on your computer and then you're gonna click download now. And then um, you're gonna click download here, um, this blue box. And then you're going to look for the Zoom installer uh, full.exe. Now it could show up at the bottom left of your screen or the top or the upper right. Mine showed up in the upper right of my screen when I did it. And this is what it looks like. Okay, once it installs, you have you just have to wait for it to ins install like any other uh, program. Uh, you'll see this screen. The installation was successful. And um, that just pops up when it's done. So then you are, you're signed up, you're on Zoom. So that was pretty easy peasy. So now you want to join a meeting. So to enter your meeting, you enter your meeting ID and your name. And I would suggest your first and last name. Now, if you haven't already signed up for Zoom, and you're um, you're going to join your first meeting, make sure that you get on Zoom or you start this process at least 15 minutes before the meeting's supposed to start. Otherwise, you're going to be late getting on your meeting. So you'll put in your meeting ID and your name and click this box so that you don't have to put your name in every time and then click join. And then you're going to get, this picture is going to show up and make sure you're smiling. I should have done that and then click join. And now you're waiting for your uh, meeting to start. Sometimes um, uh, you, they might be having uh, 
difficulties uh, getting the meeting started. Sometimes waiting on Roy um, is a technical difficulty that they're waiting on. Um, how to join a meeting. You will either receive an invitation like this. Um, this is what I send out for my meetings on Wednesday. Nell Golinski is inviting you to a scheduled Zoom meeting and the topic and um, the link to join my meeting and my meeting ID. And you can click on open Zoom meetings and this will take you right into the meeting. And, um, or you can go to zoom.us and click join. And then you enter your ID and click join. It says our personal link name. You have to enter the meeting ID to get into the meeting. I don't know why it says personal link. Maybe that's for some other uh, platform, but for this, you have to enter a meeting ID and then you click join. And then you get the same screen again, open Zoom meeting. Now you're, you're in the waiting room for the meeting to start. Please be on time and be patient. The meetings don't always start on time. Sometimes there are technical problems and sometimes waiting for Roy is the technical problem. And here's the uh, video. Uh, this video shows you um, everything that I just showed you, how the three different ways to get into the Zoom meeting. So you can watch that if you forget how to do it. Now, I'm going to walk you through the different um, icons on the Zoom um, screen. Up in the upper left-hand corner, or no, right, uh, upper right-hand corner. Um, when you click on the view button in the upper right corner, you'll reveal the following drop-down menu. This is the, the menu on the right. You have speaker gallery uh, immersive. If you have it on this, if you click on speaker, that you're just going to see whoever is speaking at that moment. If you're on gallery, you're gonna see everybody that's in the Zoom meeting at the time that usually there's like, um, I think 20, 25 people on a page so um, or on a screen. So you'll see um, all of those people, but you can change it back and forth. Um, in the upper left-hand corner, there's uh, this little green shield. If you click on that, you see all of the meeting details. And the icons at the bottom, uh, of course, there's uh, the first uh, icon is the microphone. This is to mute or unmute. Uh, usually this is muted when you come into the meeting and you always wanna be aware of what's going on when you enter a meeting. Um, if somebody is talking or, or doing a presentation, do not interrupt, be courteous. Do not come in uh, talking yourself. You have no idea what is happening in that meeting, especially if you're coming in late. The meeting could have started and they could be recording. To unmute, just click on the microphone and it will unmute so you can talk when called on or you can press the space bar and hold it down to talk. There is a little uh, arrow thing by the microphone that will give you a list of options for using the microphone and for testing to be sure your microphone works. And next is the start video icon. You can click on it to start the video or click on it to stop it. I usually keep my uh, video off. It says bandwidth if you're doing a screen share or if you're having a bad hair day. Okay, next we have uh, security. If you're not the host, this uh, this button won't work for you. But if you are the host, there are some security options that you can choose there. Next is participants. If you click on that, you'll see a list of all the call participants. Thirdly, we have the chat button. This button allows you to comment during the call. You can make comments to everyone or you can just uh, make comments to uh, an individual. Um, it's sometimes disabled because it's very distracting to the speaker. Um, and it's very distracting to me too, when people are making comments, when somebody's trying to, to, to make a presentation. Um, and the last button in this um, little clip it um, is the screen share. And this is my favorite button. I love to do the screen share. This one allows you to screen share with your fellow Zoomers. And if you click on that little arrow thing, you can allow multiple participants to share. And people can share, um, more than one per person can share the screen. Um, okay, now on this, um, this section, the start summary. Um, 
To start the summary, when you click on this icon to turn it on, Zoom uses AI technology, which may include third-party models. Zoom does not use audio, video, chats, uh, screen sharing attachments, or other communications um, like or communication like content such as poll results, whiteboard, and reactions to train Zooms or third-party AI models. We will send the meeting summary to invitees after the meeting ends based on the setting, configura uh, setting configured for this meeting. Anyone who receives the meeting summary may save and share it with apps and others. The account owner can access the meeting summary. AI-generated content may be inaccurate or misleading. Always check for accuracy and use at your own risk. Now, I have had this be totally wrong. <laughs> so if you use this, um, I didn't know that I was using it and it went out to um, a student and the information was not right at all. So just be careful if you wanna use that. I, I've turned it off, I don't use it anymore. I didn't know it was turned on, but when- Is this, I'm sorry, is this um, the thing that um, th th they're always asking us to turn off before coming to the meeting? No, uh huh. No, this is this is something that is um, it's just a zoom uh, a zoom uh, option, and if you click on it, it um, it records the meeting, but it doesn't record it it doesn't record it accurately for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, I would suggest that you don't use it unless you really get into it and figure out how to use it properly. Obviously, I did not use it the right way. And like I said, I didn't know it was turned on and didn't know I was using it. And it went out to one of my, um, my students. And when he was asking me about it, I had no idea what he was talking about. Mm -hmm. And when he sent me the, the transcript, it was totally off the wall. So I would be very careful with that. Okay. The, the second one is the AI companion. After you start the AI companion, you can ask questions about what was discussed based on the temporary transcript of the meeting. You can also control who can ask questions, either all participants or only the host. And the third button there is the record. The record is, uh, is just that. You can record on this computer or to the cloud. You can also set up uh, a feature to use AI to record by going into settings and follow the uh, prompts to use this feature. Now, when I first started recording on um, on Zoom, I could not find my recordings, but I watched a video and I'll give you a clue. They're in documents, <laughs> not in downloads. So when you record to your computer, you will find the um, that recordings um, are in uh, documents in the Zoom folder, unless you name it someplace, uh, something else and put it somewhere else. They're going to be in the documents. I, I just figured they would go into downloads because it's a download, but no, they go into documents. And then the last uh, icon is um, show captions. Uh, click on show captions to set your language if it's not already set to the appropriate language. And there's a whole list of languages there. And then you can click that little arrow thing um, to change the size of the font and the color, et cetera. There are several options there. Okay, next we have polls. You can use this icon to create fun polls or quizzes for your um, Zoom participants and reactions. Uh, use this to react uh, to what is said on the call. Lots of times uh, Rory will ask us to raise our hands. All you have to do is just click that little bar right there and raise your hand. Now, this was a fun one, and I had not um, clicked on this before to find out what it was, uh, but there are really cool apps here. So if you've not checked it out, uh, please do so. The timer, you can set a timer for your meetings on Zoom. Music, um, you have to load the music in, but you can play music in your meetings. Virtual backgrounds, and actually that background that I have on uh, on Zoom now is from uh, a list this of uh, these virtual backgrounds and group photo. You can take a photo of everybody that's on uh, on your screen from that um, from that mm. position. So go in and check these out. They're kind of fun to look through. Uh, and next, the last uh, group of icons. The whiteboard, or the last one in this group, the whiteboard, uh, these can be created by the host who can allow others to create them if they want to. And the whiteboards are kind of cool because you can um, 
you can not only write on them or type on them, but you can also draw on them if you're any good at drawing with the mouse. They're kind of fun to play with too. Um, and then the last ones, notes. You can allow participants to share uh, a note. Um, you can either do host only or all participants. And under more, you can make your meeting live on these different platforms, um, live on Facebook or Workplace from Meta, YouTube, Twitch, or live on custom live streaming service. And then here is a uh, YouTube video that explains everything that I just explained. And the last one is end. And you can click on that to leave, to leave your meeting. And um, that is it. Where, were, where was uh, in the, your notes just before that? I'm sorry? If you can, yeah. Where, does, where do you get the bottom one live on Facebook and, you know, the stop focus mode? Where is that it's under, located? Under more, right here, under more. You click on more. Oh, click on more and it will uh, give you this drop down. I don't have more on mine. Hmm. It's more or oh, less, and I got less. Um, I notes was my last one. Um, sorry, you're talking about the uh, um, inside apps? notes. Would it be inside notes? Let me look. Um, it, it should be at the very end. Yeah, yeah. notes is the last one I have. What about you, Joe? Sorry, mm -hmm. are, sorry. You double, are you double in the app? The, the apps, right? I uh, know it's just at the bottom of the screen just oh, before I it bet you it's just for the host. Yeah, that just could be for the host. Exactly. That could be, yeah. You have yeah. that, Donna? Uh, Nell, are you going to post, put in chat a link to this presentation? It's so great, especially for <coughs> new students. I will, yes. Thank you. <clears throat> Thanks, Nell. That was You're great. You're welcome. You're welcome. When you, when you do the group photo, Everybody, everybody has to accept allow, or it, or it won't take those those photos. Because it, it, you all may have just re received a request from somebody to to, to allow your photo, and uh, so that's what happens when you do a group photo. And you have to be smiling. <laughs> yeah, that's right. right. <laughs> <laughs> Pre worker is it? Now, um, now I have a question to ask you. I'm um, sorry. I have a question to ask you. Okay. So, why would a person choose to download Zoom and have Zoom download as opposed to just using it from the link? I say that again. Okay. So, why would a person choose to download Zoom and, and use the download version on the computer as opposed to just doing the link? I guess that's personal oh. preference. <clears throat> there, there, because you know, there's, there's uh, uh, one of the, uh, the biggest things is that is that um, when you download it and then you change your name, that becomes permanent. So that's always there. Whereas when you use when you just use the link, you have to change it every time. Hmm. Like if you put your initials at the end of your name, like IIT yeah. or MSI. Exactly. Mm -hmm. things like that when you download it and you have the actual program that's what joe's saying when you set that up it's permanent but if you join in somebody else and I <laughs> think, um that is uh you have to do it every time and i think what you were asking about that personal link when we're logging in i think the one on the right hand side is if it's your <laughs> own zoom call when they ask for the uh, uh, Zoom num ID <coughs> and the one to the right of that, either I Zoom ID or what was it, your personal name? I'm mm -hmm. not sure, but I'm just thinking that perhaps the personal name is your name from your for your own Zoom, you know, for you well, personally to get into your own Zoom, or well, I don't know. <laughs> well, um, I have my own personal Zoom and I have to I have to sign in before I go into um, my Zoom. 
And so you in. sign it with your name. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so that's probably the, with... what it's for, right? Well, no, I sign in uh, with my email and um, my uh, password. I have to have a, a email and password oh. to sign into Zoom. And then I schedule. So I'm I'm not really sure what that like, is. I mean, all yeah. of our meetings we have an ID, a meeting ID for. So I'm I'm maybe some some programs or some uh, groups use a you know something other than the meeting ID. I don't know. I just know we use a meeting ID. I think yeah. it's it's like how you, you said we it should up. probably just forget about it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just, just use your meeting ID. <laughs> And it's also taken to once you get in once, you know, you just the next time, the next week, like come into these calls, you just can click on the down link and it'll already have the information in there, the ID. So instead of constantly trying to figure out where it is or how to, typing it in individually, it's already there from the previous call. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you save that, it makes it so much easier. Yeah. I think it's automatically saved uh, mm -hmm. in there, but it goes down. So the, uh, the more Zoom calls you see, the lower it gets. The most current one is up on top. So I found out that sometimes if there's so many in there that I have to go looking for the one I want. And sometimes it goes off the screen. I don't know if it holds a certain amount, do you know, of history. Usually mm -hmm. there's about a half a dozen or so. And I think then after it goes off the screen and then you have to put it back in. Is that right? Yeah. I don't know. Well, I've got there. I've got yeah. like, I got, I have like columns and columns and columns of zoom meetings. So yeah. So yeah, when I've you click about... on it, do they, they all show up? Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, all of them. Okay. And they, they don't have the names beside them. So unless we know what the, the numbers or the IDs refer to, it's still kind of difficult anyway. When you have so many. Right? Well, you can you can go in and rename them. Oh, and that's that's what I do. I go in and rename them. Yes. You just click oh. on, on the meeting, um, the uh, date, meeting date, uh, right click on it. And then uh, there's a, uh, it says rename. And you just click on the rename and then you can rename that meeting. When you're initially going into it and you have the drop down box and has all the IDs from At there. Any time. In your no, when you, when it's saved to your um when it's saved into your history, you have to go into the history and rename it there. The history is where? In the drop down box? No, it's saved onto your computer. Oh, let me. I don't know where me. that would be. Are you able to show us? Um, no. let me see here. I don't know if I. Whoops. Let me see if I can uh, show you. Tom, you know when you're setting a meeting up, where it says "My Meeting," you can go back in and re rename it there as well. Right. Right. Yeah. That would probably be easier to name it in the very rename it in the very beginning. And if it's a, a repetitive one, you can rename it at any time. Mm -hmm. I'll have to look at that. But here, I'll Maybe show I'll you look what... at that in the study hall. <laughs> here, I'll yeah. show you what I was talking about. I'll see here. We'll get rid of this and go into... See, like you could go into this video and just right click on it and go down to where it says, sh can you see this? Yes. No. Okay, no, no. Just see the zoom screen. Okay. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Let me reshare. Um, let me share it again. Okay. Now can you see? Oh, yes. yes. Okay. Uh, I went into my documents and then I, I, scroll down until I found zoom and then I opened it up. So I'm in my uh, OneDrive personal documents, zoom, and then I right click on this and go down here to where it says show more options. I'm going to mm -hmm. click on that. And then it says rename. 
So click here, and then I can rename that whatever I want. I don't know what that is. So I'm, I'm not sure what that video is. So I'm not going to rename it, but I could um, type in there uh, whatever name I want to name that video. But that's a video, not a Zoom name. That's right? one of my that's one of my meetings. Yeah. See, like here, I I did this one: how to add items to your um to your menu. These are all, all well. Here's my meetings. So it'll show but up it, next time, like next week, if I change this to a certain name today, it would be stay the same for next week permanently yeah. on the drop down box when we first log in. in. Well, here, um, Tom, mm. here's here's my meeting. You do the same thing. Click on it. The right click on it and go down to show more options, rename, and I can rename that meeting to whatever I want to name it to. But that's, but that's, for, the, that's, that's for the only current meeting. Cosmetic. Yeah, that's only cosmetic. Like that, that's only for that meeting. That, that's not for new meetings, right? Now, this is from 320. That's today. Okay. That's the one I did yeah. today. Say 320.24. That's the one I just did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like two hours ago. But for next week, to get into this call, we can't change the ID, right? That's what I'm referring to. I mean, we can change what today's subject's all about, fine, but what I'm talking about every week ongoing, like Thursday nights and Saturdays. No, and you don't change the link number. That's what oh, I'm referring to. Oh, no, no. no right. No. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Now we're all in the same boat. <laughs> No, you don't. Same you don't page. want to change that number every week. No, or or the no. name, like like the the name doesn't want to change either. You don't want to change the name. You can change the name if you want, but if that's on your your videos that you save. Yeah. You have to change it in the account that created exactly. the meeting. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and I, I changed my, um, where it says my meeting, um, where it says uh, Nell Galinsky is inviting you to a meeting. And then it says, it says my meeting. I always change that to whatever it's going to be like when I, I haven't sent out uh, my invitation for my five o'clock meeting today. But when I do, I will change that to um, uh, I'll say my meeting and then I'll say Zoom presentation or I'll say today I'm doing a, a Zoom presentation, something like that. Um, and I, it's really funny that you asked me to do this today because that's what I was going to do for my five o'clock meeting. So, <laughs> well, you're prepared now. Um, so if you this... guys, if you guys want me to put a special name on it, let me know and I can go in and change it for you. Um, can I say something? No. Sorry, um, no. the seal had a question for a while ago. Um, her question was, um, do you have any tips about, about screen sharing with a student? Oh, screen sharing? With a student, yeah. Um, let's see, did I put that on? I don't think I put that on there, but I will add it to that. Um, yeah, there. Uh, ask, actually, um, there is a video uh, about screen sharing. Um. I didn't, I didn't put anything in, in the, um, in the video other yeah. than I just showed where the screen share button was, but I will add a video on that page to show you how to do the screen share. Yeah. So in order to, you mentioned before about multiple people sharing their screens. So do uh -huh. they all have to be like co-hosts in order to share their screen? Mm -hmm. No, 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 ju no, just the, the, the host just, just needs to, um, um, Add uh, the the option under um advanced sharing options. They need it's to allow um all multiple. participants and and yeah and then and then underneath that there's who can who can start sharing when, when someone else is sharing and then you choose all participants. Right now, multiple pater multiple participants can share simultaneously. Oh there's, yeah, there it is. Yeah. Yeah, you just have to click on that little button or that sentence, and then uh, people can share their screen. And so the, uh, the host needs to allow that. Yes. Perfect. Deborah, you had a question? Now, I just wanted to mention when um, Tom was talking about the, um, I think he's talking about the login when you join into a meeting. Mm -hmm. 
and mm-hmm. it has like the name and then it has the number like mine mine automatically do it even when Donna mm-hmm. changed hers to team meeting it automatically changed I think that's the area he's talking about when you first join yeah. and there's a drop down with the uh, list of uh, different meetings right like, that's how I get in most of mine yeah yeah no, there's uh, there's uh, no way to change those names other than the host of the meeting changing the name right yeah So if you want a particular topic put on a team meeting, then send it to me and I'll, I'll change it for you. Well, I'm just, I was just thinking like every Wednesday, for example, I mean, we have multiple calls for IITs and so forth, but instead of thinking or trying to remember or look at the numbers and the password to get in, let's say today's meeting have like Donna's Wednesday call. I don't know if we still need the the six numbers underneath that, which we still have to look up, which defeats the purpose. Yes. But we, we still have to enter in the passcode. I had you today. Yeah. You can have a different passcode for each meeting if you wanted to do that. No, I don't want no. that. No. <laughs> no. When, when I, Don I want to do away but... with that. Some of them you don't need the pass. <laughs> Code. Yeah, I don't yeah. have a passcode on mine. It was it, that was just Uh-oh. too confusing for people. I took the yeah. passcode off my meetings. I I don't yeah. have a passcode on any meetings. So then just they all can be done that way. This one can be done that way too. The passcode yeah. could be taken yeah. off, right? So, mm-hmm. so by the host. If, if you choose the meeting through the, the drop down, you have to enter a passcode. If you click on the, the link in in our chats, you, the passcode enters in automatic. Right. Well, because that's what that, that's what right. happened with me today. When I do my drop down, the only one I have to do for a passcode is Donna now, because Donna changed yeah. her 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 um uh Zoom. Set but it, before yeah. I didn't have set to do it. that. But that's that's the only one I have to go back and yeah. Do a and I, yeah, and uh, Tom, I think as well. If we change the name of the meeting each week. I'm not sure if that's then going to add a new, like like a a, a, a new meeting um, in, in in each of our drop downs because it's a different name. Yeah, we don't want to change the name every wink, every wink, every week. It's, it's just yeah. change the topic. Change the topic. Yeah. 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 No, 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 no. I mean, I don't want to. You know, that's that's getting too confusing. I'm just saying no, Wednesday I, call. It, you know, Donna's Wednesday easy. call. Period. It, it's easy. I, if you send it to me, I can do it very easily. Right, right I, I now, have, mine. I have my meeting. Each each one of my meetings, I know what it is. The worries yeah. is um, you um uh, you should be here. Then they have Donna's. Well, Donna's meeting is team meeting now for me. Team meeting. And yeah. then I have other other meetings. Like I just click on them. They all yeah. have different titles. Like Lori says, Lori Evans. Mm-hmm. So I don't really have a problem except for if I have to get a passcode. Yeah. Yeah. So, so this, uh, this meeting is called team meeting. Right. Right. Yeah. So and, for new people, especially, you know, knowing, well, uh, there's so many meetings, which ones do I go to? Let me look, you know, how do I know if you have like, again, Wednesday, uh, Wednesday's call that that this is the only Wednesday call that right, um, except for tonight, you know, but that's something different. But then, for the uh, Rory has Rory has calls on Wednesdays too, so yeah, so yeah. oh, well, again, so Don is Wednesday afternoon call or something to just change the number to the name so when people look at it, they don't have to figure out what the number is. Just trying to make it easier. Trying to if there yeah. if there's a way that would be good, you know, because yeah. there's so we many do. so many numbers that we have to think of. I always look at the last four, then I look for that, you know, instead of the whole thing. But still, Wednesday because I still have to look for our own call. So to find it, you know, if it says Wednesday afternoon call or Donna's Wednesday call. Then we don't have to look for the number. We can just see what it says and click on it. Tom, I've got a sheet I'll send you. Yeah. They must be set up different because mine, I all I do is look at the name of the meeting. Like yeah. I have Velvita. No. Velvita. I have um you are supposed to be here. 
Um, yeah, the, we've got that too. Uh, dinner, di- the went wine and dine. You know, all that stuff is like most of them are the same for us because we get all they have the same address. But any of the different ones, they're all labeled for me. I don't know how. Yep. I guess we have yep. different. It sets up different for everybody. No, no, it's it's the same for everybody, but it's all labeled, mm. and and so we all have the same labels. Um, no, but I Marty, mean how it's yep. set up. The yeah, the drop downs, like my drop down, I don't have a problem. I just go in and click one because I know it just has a title to it, and then the numbers across from it. Yeah, and then and then the um, um, and then um, it it always I believe it always lists the most recent one that you you you've been on um at the top. Mm-hmm. That's what I mean. The more you look at, the more they keep going down and down. And if you look at a whole bunch of them, then eventually the top one goes off the screen. Uh, it's but now you said really... you saw had loads of them up there. Is that what you were saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. You so, can so scroll each... down. Yeah, but yeah. um, it, like each each um active meeting you've been on, when you've been on a meeting and and that is active, that means that moves to the top. So just viewing them doesn't do anything, but when you actually go to a meeting and you attend the meeting, to the yeah. Um, uh, Marty, I believe you had a question. I, I it wasn't really a question; it was just a comment. Um, do you guys know how to hide that floating toolbar when you share your screen? Yes. I don't. Yep. Okay. Do is yes. does everybody know that? That's, no. It's so. Okay. Do you want it, to it, tell them? I it's it's so helpful. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> do, do you know how to do that now? Yes. Yeah. So, uh, but it's really hard to do. A, the only way to, way to do that is um by doing taking um screenshots. Yeah. There's show, a right? over under more. You click on more, and then it says hide. Hide floating meeting controls, and that hides and it. And, and and then to get it back, you just can escape, I think, right? As, yep, right. Yep. Yes. And, that, and that's as easy as that. Mm-hmm. Easy as pie. Thanks for the question, Marty. It's, it's easy if you know how to do it. <laughs> exactly. Oh, yeah. And and, it, and, 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 and by, it, by it not being there, it's never in the way. It is like so easy to do it. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. Yep. Thank you, Marty. Thanks for, uh, thanks for the question. Any other questions? She was talking about scrolling bar. No, so so okay, so uh, when you do a screen share, you know how you have a, a bar at the top or the bottom. Yeah. So uh, the way to remove that, you just go to the little dots for more options, and then there's a spot that says um, hide floating bar. There's, there's actually uh, two. You just got to make sure that you do the right one. Okay. Yeah, no, really thank easy. you so much. That was great. Well, yes. you're very welcome. Um, I will uh, share that um, with everybody. I'll put the um, link in uh, in the chat. Um, thank on you. Your, I'll I'll put it on your uh, WhatsApp chat. Okay. Okay. Sounds great. All right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I'm going to bug out now. If that's okay. Yes, yep. ma'am. Absolutely. Appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you, Donald. That was fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye Take now. Care. Have a great day. Thank you. You too. Bye. Yeah, that opened up some questions on uh, Zoom. Yeah. I didn't know some of the things on the bottom right myself. You know, I didn't even think about the notes. I, so, hey, you know, I, I, I want to use able... the basics anyway, you know. I was actually able to add an app to, to um, take attendance, but it only works if, you, if you're the host. So there, there's actually a attendance app. Um, so that was very sweet. I have never even looked at the apps. Yep. Click and it's, it. Actually works, it actually works pretty good. And so now uh, on, the, on the Wednesday calls, I don't even need, mm-hmm. need, need to go through a list. I just do attendance. Boom. Yeah, I just clicked on the the apps right now. It says who can start a collaboration, host only, all participants. <clears throat> and then it says who who can start a collaboration when someone else already started a collaboration. 
post size. That's what I got uh, when I clicked on apps. Yeah, the the no that uh, that's what when you do the um, arrow above the apps, that's what you get is where the host. But if you actually click on the word apps, you'll get the apps on the right on the right hand side. Oh, on the right hand side. There you go. Yeah. Ah, okay. So Joe, Thanks. you did something other than the group photo. Okay. No. So so when you take a group photo, everybody gets a, a pop up saying. Do you want to allow this? Ah. Uh, okay, so how when, did you do the attendance? You, okay, so um, uh, on the right-hand side, when you go, go um, into apps, on the right-hand side, you, you'll see my apps and then add apps. When you go into add apps, there's a little magnifying glass and it's a little magnifying glass. And I thought, hey, let me see if there's an attendance one. And I, I typed an attendance and, and I found it. Oh, wow. Yeah, I was like, great. But you can only use it if you're if you're a host or co-host. If you're a host, you can or, use that. No, I just, I'm just noticing it well, says obviously. add apps and my apps. Yeah, so when so, you go to add apps, yeah, fantastic. Add apps, discover all. So it's almost like going into the your nine dots on your yeah uh, yeah well, with to get my drive and everything. So this is almost like a Zoom store as, a to as opposed to a Google store, right? Yeah. And it breaks it down to categories, education, event management, um, yeah, financial services, games, a whole load of health them, health and wellness. Healthcare, healthcare. Healthcare. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I don't know what those are, but Vax, Bliss, Pit. <laughs> I can't even say it now. I know what it is. Oh, okay. Okay. That's interesting. Uh, that's, 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 that's something an, uh, new. That's another can of worms. <laughs> well, see that? That that's educational. Yeah. The whiteboards, yeah. it's just something to draw on from and and the notes here. Let's see, click on notes and it says recent my shared share oh, my shared star trash search. Create a note. And then you create a note for just for what's going on now. Uh, uh, or for this to meeting, use. Yeah. yeah. For this meeting. And then at the end, it'll let me save that note in the the same uh, folder where it saves the videos, in the Zoom folder under documents. Nice. Huh. Okay. Look yeah. at that, folks. We're all learning something new today. It's a lot of new things today. That's awesome. <clears throat> yes. I, I would recommend, though, I would recommend not playing around with, with this stuff on, 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 on the main calls, like on the um, calls with Rory, because if we do and, 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 and it actually does something on the main call, then, then everyone's going to get a, what's going on here? Stop doing that, right? Huh. <laughs> so I would say, I would say it, until you know how the tools work, don't do it on the, on the, on the Rory calls. You know, I wonder if that's what happened. What was it a few years ago when Rory was on the call? He had the, he was showing stuff, and there's lines going across it. You know, the right? annotate because yeah, that's probably because what they were doing. Yeah, uh, somebody was was doing uh, annotate. That's right. Yeah, yeah, and uh, that actually happens from time to time, time to time. Still, e even here, I've actually had to go in a couple times and and clear it. I don't know if you noticed it or not, but. Um, a couple of weeks ago, when you did um, the uh, screen share for everybody, and I saw somebody was doing, uh, oh, actually, I, I could, I won't, I, I won't name names, but there were some people that, that they're actually drawing on the screen, so I had actually had to go in and erase them. Yeah, but we haven't seen that in a long time now, though. So Two yeah, the ago. best thing is just sit back, keep your hands together, or yeah. take notes, and don't touch the screen. You yeah. know, yeah. that like was the, two two weeks ahead. ago. That happened. That was uh, two weeks ago. Oh yeah, on here, yeah. But uh, so I, I, I mean, I, I'm observed, so I, I can't watch. I kind of pay attention to that stuff. But uh, it doesn't happen very often, though. It doesn't happen very often. So again, see, we were talking about you know you were talking about taking uh, um, you were taking names, roles, attendance. Mm -hmm. We're all still doing that right now. 
and um, you want to be able to make sure you have your first name and last name and let your um, instructors know that you are on the call so they can take your attendance. Anything else, any other questions on, on this Zoom presentation today? We had a, a question that I want to put out to everybody here. The person didn't put their name on it, so I don't know if they're here or not right now. But uh, here's uh, the uh, the question is, is there a certain amount of training as an IIT before you start guiding others? Should a new member be a at a certain point with their PBS before attempting to be an instructor? I'd like to answer that one. <laughs> Go ahead, please. All right, and here's what I suggest, okay? Number one, you have to have an NDA, which means you have completed modifying all of the anchor offers. Right, you should be in the anchor offers, um, at least two of the three anchor offers. Um, the next thing that I would like to see is that you have posted, you've learned how to post ads, and you're doing that on a regular basis. Then you go into V marketing, you have got to. Attend the V marketing trainings both on Saturday and on Thursday. And attendance is taken, so I can verify that you've been there at least two or three weeks. And then you can start uh, practicing your BRTs on a. Um, and, and Lori, jump in here now because we're modifying the way we're doing the IIT uh, as well. So we want to keep it uniform for everybody. And that's yeah. really important because we've got a lot of people doing a lot of different things. So we're going to clarify this and make some steadfast rules so that everybody's on the same page. So Lori, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, it's um I'm trying to turn my volume up here. You know, stupid WhatsApp is like locking everything up even though I shut it off. It sounds good. We can hear you good. Yep. We can hear me fine. okay. Okay. Yeah. We can hear you very well. Yep. So um so basically, you know, like what Donna is saying, I, I'm I don't ever want to go against anything that Rory says. So even if something may sound like a contradiction, I will promise you that Donna and I have been teaching students long enough and have been hanging out doing, you know, elbow deep in the things that we know what we're saying when we say V marketing comes after ad posting. And there's reasons for this. It may not be clear in the training site on which comes first or which comes second, because some things Rory leaves up to the instructor that is teaching the individual. Mm -hmm. Rory is not personally instructing you. He doesn't personally know you. That's why you have a one-on-one -on -one instructor. I'm going to say that some things are up to the instructor based on what they know about you. Whether you, maybe maybe you have some bad habits. Maybe you don't listen. Maybe you can't, maybe you struggle with, you know, following step-by-step -step directions. Maybe you are a fast worker, but you skip over things. You know what I'm saying? That doesn't always have to be a bad thing, right? You know, we, we know what your good and bad points are. So with that said, um, yeah, I think we're going to be going into, um, we're going to kind of hold off on some V marketing going forward. This week we'll have V marketing. The following two weeks, at least, will probably be IIT. We haven't announced this yet. We're just kind of gathering it. Donna and I actually talked yesterday, so this is pretty new. Um, not only do you need to know how to V market, and yes, you need to know how to BRT, but guys, for those of you that are IITs and CSIs and even, you know, even some of the GSIs and myself included, you know, we've all been struggling with all the changes and converting. Okay. And I don't like to talk about converting because it makes it sound like we're up to something 
that we shouldn't be up to. But at the end of the day, guys, this is business. We're here to make money. And if the numbers aren't there, then there's a problem. And so with all this cleanup, all the new changes, all everything, we need to get everybody back in the swing of it. And if that means that we have to, you know, kind of combine some things again and go over, Donna and I will be more than happy to do mock, you know, BRTs into a, into Keystone like we've done before. Um, guys, I'm going to tell you, and this is, this is even for people like myself and Tom and Joel and Don and Larry and the new IITs and the CSIs like Ray and, you know, Angelica and Cindy. And, you know, I mean, there's a lot of us here, right? Leadership should be for sure converting one in three. And I can tell you, none of us are. And None when you us. listen to the numbers on our instructor meetings, I could cringe. They're sad. And there we've got a huge group here. And there's only two or three of us bringing in new team members every week. <laughs> we have to change that, guys. We have to change that. That is your income. That's well, my and it's income. What, and it's That's what keeps everybody afloat. Yeah. You know, the whole V marketing guys works as gears, right? Just like gears in our PBS, right? And if we're not all doing our part, things start to fall apart and they will start to fall apart guys inevitably. And I don't want that to happen, you know? And if, and if you guys aren't going to, you know, and I mean, everybody as a whole, as a team, if we're not going to pick up the pace to do it, then get out of the way and we'll find somebody that will. Right. At the end of the day, it's business. This is what, this is what a lot of us depend on to pay our bills. You know, right. I mean, I, I, I could have, a, you know, I, I could ask everybody to raise their hand for those of us that are here doing this full time, right? This is our main income stream. I'm one of them, right? You know, um, yes, Wendy, I'm well aware that you want to be market. When Hard Tense has you set up to do that, we'll get you going. Part of it is this new CRM that we're doing and we're switching things over. It makes no sense to tr teach anybody right now on a Trello system when the Trello system isn't even going to be there in two and a half weeks. So, yeah, so be patient, guys. These yeah. next two weeks, just be patient. We're working really, yeah. really hard. There's thousands of people to convert. Well, and I will do system. And, and I do want to say this because I hear a lot of it, guys. You know, I we do Thursday IIT meetings. We do Thursday V marketing meetings and they kind of alternate. I do Friday team meetings. I do Saturday and Sunday at least 12 hours a weekend for study hall. And I pop in here on the Wednesday team meetings too, on top of all the other meetings that I go to. Okay. And I'm not patting myself on the back, but I'm telling you that you guys are getting pretty snippety with your instructors and I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. So maybe, maybe treat your instructor with a little grace. And I don't just mean me. I hear you guys talking out of both sides of your lips a lot of times. My instructor this, my instructor that. They're they're holding me back. They're not letting me do this. They're not letting me do that. There's a reason that they're not letting you. Whether that be a timing thing, maybe there's something going on behind the scenes that you don't know what's going on. Just hang tight, guys. Nobody's being left out of anything. So, you know, there's that. But for IIT stuff, guys, to answer the question that Tom read off the, the questions that he got, IITs, it's a very important thing, guys. You're when you get into B marketing, you sign an NDA, a non-disclosure agreement. You know, it's proprietary information. There's personal information that that you get, you know, access to. Once you're in Goya, you get access to just about everything here. And your job at, once you've hit Goya is to protect the house, right? These are not little things. These are not little things. This is big responsibility. It, it's a it's an integrity thing. And if I don't see some integrity in you, you're you're not going to move as quickly as you might want to. Start showing me, start showing me what needs to be shown to get where you want to go. Right. Start being a team player. Start taking responsibility. Start showing up, guys. I see attendance every day. Ray takes attendance for me. Thank God he does because I would pull my hair out. Mm -hmm. He yep. takes attendance for me and I look it over and I can tell you it's sad. It's yeah. sad. Where are all of your students? Mm -hmm. I don't look know. around. 
Uh, uh, most of this group right now is instructors. instructors. And ha my hat's off to all the new people that are on here. But instructors, your students should be attending at least one team meeting, whether it's on Wednesdays or Fridays, every week. Well, and guys, you can't say it's work because Wednesdays, it's a daytime one and Fridays, it's an evening one. You, so right. you can't tell me that it's because they work. Somebody's got to, you know, show up to something, right? And that could so, be the reason that nobody is converting, bringing in new members. Right. We've got <laughs> to fix this. We've got to fix this as a team. This is pathetic. Well, and I want to say this, and I don't, I don't ever like to talk about this because it's not, it's not something I like to talk about. Right now, this whole huge team, guys, there are three people, and I am not one of them. There are three people, instructor-wise, that are bringing new students in. One is Donna, the other is Rebecca, and the third is Hartense. So kudos to you guys. We can't and do Lucille it alone, did, guys. Lucille, Lucille did bring in one recently. Ray Absolutely. and my Cindy brought in one a couple weeks ago, but that was a couple weeks ago. And yeah, that's pressure. Yeah, I'm throwing names out there. And yeah, it stings. I don't like to do it. I, I don't like to do it. But for a team that has over 500 members and there's three people bringing new students in, come on. Wendy, I'm well aware that, that you'd love to be bringing in people. When you get there, we'll see how it goes. You've got to know what you're doing to do it. And that's the whole that's the whole purpose of the IIT meetings on Thursday. And we've got the same people showing up. Their new people are not coming in. Where are they? How are they going to build your business with you if you're not sending them there, if you're not demanding that they be there? Right. Well, and that's and a situation. A lot of people are complaining. And uh, there was one, you know, student of mine was complaining, well, you, you know, you're not helping me out here, or, you know, this and that. I've been, I've Send moved them to him the as fast as I could, I but not once. I don't, I don't let them, yeah, I don't let them, I don't let them give that excuse. You send them to the study hall and they yeah. will be, well, there that's, you go. That's what I'm trying to say. All these people yeah. that are complaining, they're not do, getting what they want. They're not coming to these calls. Exactly. Well, and I've exactly. got, got some students too that say, oh, well, I'm a little lost or I don't, you know, why is this so confusing and this, that, and the other? I said, well, if you were showing up to the meetings, it wouldn't be confusing. Exactly. Yeah. That's, exactly. That, that's I right. can't help you if you don't show up. Yep. And we kind of try to explain we're only one person. You got to come to the calls so you can hear different versions, hear it from other people. And that most of it's repetition. So if you want to learn, come to the calls. You'll always learn something, even if it's just one morsel of information. But exactly. you know, I look on the road calls every single time, and now, and then they say, "Well, I'm not getting anywhere. I'm not making any money. I'm not doing this." Well, you're also not doing what you're, you're not, supposed to be you're doing. Not doing because you're not doing what Rory does to get what Rory gets. That's that's the right. whole gist of it, guys. Exactly. You know. So those of you that are IIT and above, and when I say that, I don't mean anybody is excluded. Donna shows up and she's an MSI. Okay. I mean, so nobody's excluded. The IIT meetings on Thursdays, everybody should be coming. Yes, they run a little long. They're about an hour and a half because we go over BRTs. We go over mock flows. We go over what you should and shouldn't be saying when you're on the phone. We go over the tactics of Donna's bringing in. No, when I say this, guys, I'm not bragging here. Donna can bring in eight to 10 a week. Easy. If she could keep up with training them. Okay. And yeah, I guess what I'm saying is, is, is if she can do that, then why aren't you guys coming to the IIT meetings to hear what she's got to say? She's obviously knows how to convert. If you are not bringing in one in three uh, out of the positive responses that you are talking to, what? why are you not on the Thursday, period? I don't care who you are. What time are the IIT meetings on Thursday? Five o'clock Central. Central, six o'clock Eastern. All right, yeah, I'm Eastern. I'll be there. Yep, they're posted in the chats every week, like clockwork. You know, yeah, that's because... the other thing. Look at the chats, and a lot of people oh, aren't so even doing that. So we actually have um, <laughs> so we actually have um, someone that's been waiting to ask a question. 
can I get to her question? Yep. Yeah. Sharon, Sharon Hughes, you had a question? Sharon, you're muted. Unmute. The question, yes, the question that you read initially was mine. That I, um, but uh, the other question you answered, uh, I was, I, I was under the impression the IIT meetings were, you know, closed for, for those that that were in training. It's, so everyone is welcome. New members are welcome to come to that meeting. If you're an IIT with a signed NDA. Oh, okay. An right. IIT. So an IIT so, is an instructor in training or above. If you have an NDA and you are being trained to be an instructor or above, CSI, GSI, PSI, MSI, yes, that's what those are for. And if, if you're not an IIT, work towards getting that by by completing your anchor and your pages. So really, okay. that, uh, that's what all of us who are not instructors here or not IITs should be striving for is to get those anchor pages done to become yep. an IIT. Because and start learning. Like, yeah, start getting yeah. your templates and stuff done for your V marketing. Oh. If you don't have an NDA, then no, you can't come in. If you have an NDA okay, yeah, and you're not an IIT yet, which technically the second that you sign an NDA, technically that's the path you're taking. But there's a difference between V marketers and instructors in training. And I don't, I don't care what anybody says that that's just, I mean, it's facts. It's okay. you know? the, reason, the reason that we have you do the ad posting first is because you're going to get really busy. If you start bringing people in, then you're going to be spending time with them as well. You got to fit that in your calendar and you have to, be in a rhythm. You have to have your ad posting as part of your daily routine to move on because we don't want you to forget the ad posting. The ad posting is really important. It's vital. Right. So if you get that in and you get that down as part of your daily routine, then you go into adding other people in the mix and bringing in students. Um, right. So just be patient, guys. We want it's, everybody you know, to get to think here, about it. Want yeah, to think get about there. it as being like a, as a tool belt, guys, you know, Donna and I, you know, and all of the rest of the instructors here, we start you out on learning how to modify your pages, right? Then we start teaching you how to like swap out your links, right? And then we start teaching you how to mess with the images, right? So that's all PBS modification. So then you get that in your tool belt, you're working on that. Then we add, of course, we add in ad posting, Right. So now you know how to modify a page, you know how to swap a link, you know how to edit a picture or an image, right? And now you're learning how to post ads, right? Posting ads in marketing are pretty big and they're pretty equally big, all right? Yes. They're, but so is modifying your PBS. So we don't teach all of this all at once because you would be so overwhelmed, you'd go crazy. So then once you've go got- anywhere. Right. Then you once you've got those tools, guys, then we're going to add another skill to your tool belt. We're going to show you how to V market and you're going to be juggling how to how to edit your pages, how to swap links. Those are all skills that you're taking with you forward. Right. Because you're still going to utilize those. You're, you're still going to add more it. and more that you're, you're going to be doing You're just adding every day. more skills to what you need to be doing. Right. That's right. So. If, if you if you're not ad posting all the time if you're not writing templates all the time for your ad posting that's what you need to do because you need to be able to do that to post to the anchor offers that you just got done doing modifying in your PBS right because you made them you took them from being a copy of Rory's to being yours right and then after you do that you're going to be posting ads to that which your Google Adsense is also dependent on your ads right? So like there's all these moving parts and we're telling you to do it in a certain way, laid out in a certain fashion because of how it all fits together. That's it might not make it's sense a step to by you. Step system. It's stackable yes. training, right? Once you have that ad posting tool in your belt, then people like Tom and I and Joel and all of us, we're going to teach you how to fee market too, right? Because guess what? There's another tool in your belt. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So if you're not there yet, guys, practice the skills that we're giving you, no matter how mundane you might think they are. It's your business. You're laying the foundation for your business. 
want to be competent in each skill before you move forward and grab another one. Well, and it helps you to understand your business as you go. They're all important parts. Who are they talking? You know? Sharon. Sharon's got a question. Yeah. Oh, and now I just lost the, the screen. Hold on one second, please. Um, yeah, like well, Rory it's says, so, it's, I, it's cyclical, screen. and then it's Can like you... a pyramid, upside down pyramid. You're growing, growing, growing more and more. Right. Go ahead, Sharon. I'm sorry. Can you hear me? Yes. Yep. Yes. Okay, good. Because I lost the screen, and uh, <laughs> and uh, it's not coming back right away. I just wanted to say that I just needed. Uh, I got the 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 clarity that I needed about the the uh, IIT. And that's yeah. I um, I was on. I was thinking that I would um, get the training that I needed to do my PBS. But I see now that you broke it down. I see the things that I want to learn and get better at is the PBS system. So right. I was yeah. So that that I just needed the clarification because when you were talking about it. Uh, for a while there, there was the impression that anybody could attend the meetings, but I know there was a, in, you know, making the distinctions between who was there, but I well, understand. And guys, there is, Donna, Donna has a sheet. Donna has a weekly meeting sheet that I put together and she went over and we tweaked it together. It's posted in the chats all the I time, every week. Yeah, and that will tell you there's an explanation of each meeting on that sheet with the appropriate meeting link. Let's go ahead and post it again today. I want I each will. one of you to download that. Look for I'm it. I'm pretty sure I just posted it this morning, but I might have posted it yesterday instead. It was either share yesterday it. or this morning. Share it with all of your students. Clarification, also Lord. Yeah, yeah sorry. sorry. Just, just some clarification. So the Thursday meetings is only if you have an NDA? The IIT one. Not, oh, okay. not Rory's, not okay. Rory's okay. meeting. Okay. So if you're talking core yeah. meeting that happens in the evening with Rory and Sheila and the MSIs, yeah. okay. that's a core meeting. And no, okay. anybody can go to that. So um, the meeting the at IOT five. meeting that happens at 5 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. Eastern prior to that is only if they have an NDA. And that's why you right. won't see it posted in every chat yeah. because people so, get confused. Okay. Yeah. So I, I, I think that's actually, I think the meetings that Sydney was talking about was the one in the evening because we never mentioned well, this call. Well, they're both in the evening, we never, yeah. but are we talking core well, meetings yeah, so, of Rory's so, or are we talking IIT meetings of the team? That's what I'm saying. So we never actually until now never mentioned the IIT meetings around Thursday. So I think, so uh, Sydney Greenleaf, which meetings were you talking about? We're talking about the core meetings um, at 9 Eastern or the IIT meetings earlier in the evening. Um, whichever one, the core meetings at, at 9 Eastern is for everybody, everyone NDA or no NDA. The IIT meetings, which is at 6 Eastern, you need to have an NDA. Correct. Okay. The, I just wanted that clarification. Thanks. Yep. And that, like I said, each meeting and the Wednesday meetings, your guys' Wednesday meeting that we're in right now, that's on that sheet. It explains it. The little bit of a study hall after that, right? There's study halls on the weekends. It tells that. It tells you what requires for what. It tells you what steps you should be in in your PBS before you attend which meetings. Guys, everything you need to know is on that sheet that is called Donna's Weekly Meetings. Lori, can we post the link to that in the chat? Yeah, give me one second here, guys. And because Tom, of course my my because of course my system wants to be stupid with WhatsApp. Give me a second. Yeah, mm -hmm. it it is obnoxious. Yeah. Um, does anybody so. else have any questions about that about the meetings? And the reason and, that they're so important is because you're not going to get some of that information for IIT. That's why Lori came up with the idea of creating that meeting, and it's been a huge help. But you guys have to show up and you have to make your students show up so that they can get the extra information there and practice. We we have role playing. We have, um, God, there's 
<laughs> you know, you can stay there until you've got it down. Um, if yep. you need extra help, that's what that's what it's for. Rory well, has, and one I of mean, the Rory biggest has, one of the biggest things was is when you go into the BRT calls, you can't ask questions in there, right? You know, the Monday right. through Friday, eleven a.m. to seven p.m. You have other MSIs that are in there, people from different teams, and not everybody looks at things the same way. Donna and I are firm believers that you can't learn if you're learning in a poor environment, right? You have to be in the right environment to learn. And so with IITs, it's a huge step. And I can remember being, I can remember when Donna like pushed me out of the nest and was like, okay, you're going to be an instructor in training now. And I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> you know, I wasn't even sure if I was ready. She was sure. She was sure I was ready. I wasn't sure I was ready. And then I had, you know, and we had to be in the big chat, right? You know, and that's where a lot of us got dumped, right? Was in the big chat. Donna has a big chat for instructors and it's got everybody in there. If you guys aren't aware of this, Don, some of Donna's and in, like student instructors are MSIs, right? Some of them are PSIs. Some of them are GSIs or CSIs or brand new students, right? You know, coming into IIT. They've got I can own. remember how terrifying it was. If Donna was busy, I didn't want to ask a question in that. I never wanted to even make a peep in that chat because there was other MSIs and they were going to, you know, what were they going to say if I didn't know something, right? You know, and it's just so intimidating. And thank God, you know, Donna was always like, don't worry about it, Lori, you know, what? what's up, right? But I thought that if we had a spot for you guys to learn what you needed to learn before you get thrown into the big chat, right, that it would be better. And because you can ask your questions, because you can, it. there is no reason to be embarrassed. There is no shame in making a mistake as you're learning, right? Oh, gosh, so, no. you know, I, I really think, I really think it's detrimental. Like, I mean, what what is that saying, um, Donna? I know that you know what I'm talking about. And Joel probably knows this one by the, off the top of his head. It's something about if a bird, something about a bird and a fish, if, two if birds, a fish were to. Two birds in the, two birds in the bush is, uh, no. <laughs> a, a it's if a, it's if a bird and a fish. A it, bird in the is hand that? is worth two in the bush. Yeah, that's not the one I'm thinking of, guys. Yeah, it's I about, realize. you know, thinking that you're stupid, right? If a, if a bird, if a bird needed to know how to swim, he would live his whole life thinking he was stupid, right? Because that's not what the bird is meant to do, right? And it's kind of the same thing with this, guys. If, if you aren't taught what you need to know in a encouraging environment, you know, like if you make a mistake and somebody rips your head off or makes you feel stupid or makes you feel like you're not capable of doing it, which I'm not saying that anybody would intentionally do here. But when we're nervous, guys, it doesn't take much to to make you feel badly. Right. Or take things right. the wrong way. Yeah. Exactly. Especially when you're nervous and especially when you don't know what you're doing. Right. Nobody expects you to know what you're doing unless you've been taught. Now, if I've taught you, you know, if I've gone over it and over it and over it and over it and you say you got it and you're doing it wrong, I'm going to be the Trello police. I, I'm, and I'll probably still call it when we're in the new CRM. I'm going to be the Trello police. I'm going to be the NDA police. I'm going to come to you and I'm going to say, hey, you know, let, instead of doing it this way, we need to do it this way, right? Because that's just part of who I am. It's an integrity thing, guys. I, I, you know, just like with our kids, right? And I don't think that any of you are children. I'm just saying we, because we love our kids and we want them to do things the right way and we want them to grow and prosper. We're not going to let them, you know, run amok, right? We're going to give them some guidelines to stay between. And that's kind of what the IIT chat does, okay? That's kind of what the IIT Thursday meetings, you know, and up are, you know? And if you've got, yeah, if you've got, if you guys have people that are, you know, instructors that are IITs, they need to get in there, right? So, you know, uh, you know, it's not just for anybody that has an NDA. Um, if you are not V marketing on a regular basis and, you know, into the system, it's for instructors in training. The V marketing Thursdays that are alternating, we post in the V marketing chat that Donna has now, which I think is brilliant. So yeah, I, we, we, we realize I just saw a post 
everybody does have different ways to learn. And that's why it's so important that you get yep. into the IIT meeting because maybe your instructor uh, has a different view on what they think that you're absorbing, right? right. Um, and maybe you don't really understand all. If you go to the IIT meeting, you're going to hear different people's experiences and it helps you get a bigger picture of the whole uh, process that way. And we're at, a, you, it, we're at a critical point here, guys. I mean, it's yeah. getting to the point to where Donna can't pull the weight of this entire team. She just can't do it. You know? Yeah, we've and got, we've got hundreds of people. I yeah. I, and you Lori, know, Lori can't. Well. Lori's getting to that point as well, guys. Um, we we are growing as a team. Yeah, and, and all the GSIs, you know, uh, be patient. Be, be patient with your instructors because there's more going on behind the scenes that they have to handle than you realize, especially mm -hmm. when you're just coming into IIT. Now, that's a big step, and we want to make sure that you've got all of the information that you need and that you're confident to move forward with that, to start training other students. So it's really, really important. And if you have students that are at that stage and they've completed modifying all of their anchor offers and they understand that the anchor offers are not for them to consume, it is our way of doing marketing for our new business. Right. They have to understand the importance of that and they have to be able to take their consumer hat off and put their business hats on, right? Exactly. Uh, if you've you accomplished know, and that, that, that with them. That's a great point, Donna. And I do want to say that here real quick. IITs and above is where you start putting on different hats. And sometimes it can get confusing. Sometimes you're sometimes you're the the hat wearer where you're, you know, calling people or texting people or bringing new students in that kind of thing. If you're on Goya, as you progress, then your support, you know, you got your support hat on, right? When you're a business owner, you got your PBS hat on and not everything. That's what the NDA is for. Stuff that happens in a meeting that is meant for IITs and above, things cannot leave that meeting and go into a regular chat with regular students that don't have an NDA. Okay. So there are things as we go, it, it, guys, there, there's no way to teach you this big fat elephant all at one time. Would not expect you to shove it in your, you know, in your mouth, chew it up and try to digest it that way. It's impossible. You have to take it, you know, bite by bite. Right. And sometimes that takes a little time. Right. But so, this is a safe know, place where you could do that and get to where exactly. you want to be before moving on to, to be marketing. Um, and that's really important that you get everything down and that you feel confident in it. And that's what that group is for. So please send, come yourself and bring your students. Um, yeah. It's right now it's poorly attended and the numbers that people of the team members that are bringing in people to build the team are pitiful. And it's showing because there's no, not enough people are showing up for that meeting. They're yeah. not getting the information that they need. And I know guys, I know how frustrating it is that there's meetings all over the place. I, I know that, but there's a lot of the meetings that you're going to be attending that you're only attending them until you learn the task at hand. Right. Okay. So V marketing meetings, you're not going to be going to V marketing meetings until you're dead. I promise you, you're going to do V marketing meetings until you learn the V marketing. You're going to go to BRT calls during the week until you learn V marketing, right? right? Once you do that, you can pop in and out of there as you wish, right? For refreshers and this, that, and the other. But or, think, or you, you know, IITs are the same way. If you're converting one and three, then by all means, you don't need to come to the IIT meeting. Or what you might end up doing is students. for the V marketing is that you you may end up coming in and teaching, right? Yeah. Right. Well, right? and that's the best way to learn. Yeah. Yep. 
you know, that's where we get you engaging. And that's where we get you, you know, asking more questions about how does this fit into my business and what am I doing and, you know, what have you. If you guys have not mastered modifying your pages, getting your SEO green, green, swapping out your links and, you know, ad posting, if you've not, you know, mastered that part of it and going to the meetings and showing up on our attendance, then you're not ready to keep going forward yet. You have to master what's in step one, two, and three first, right? What we're going to uh, be doing is we're going to be creating folders so that everybody's on the same page. Um, yep. Yep. So uh, we'll be getting those out to you soon. And uh, all of my GSIs, uh, you need to be communicating with uh, Lori and I so that we can make sure that we're giving the students the same information all on the same page. Right. Same order of things. When you're ad yeah, posting, that, you need that to ad create. Posting has to come. It has to come before the V marketing. It just has to. Yeah. Or you Otherwise, it time. gets pushed by the wayside. And that's yeah. where a lot of the learning of communication comes in for the V marketing is in ad posting, believe it or not. Mm -hmm. we, we don't always I, teach that. But it, it's one of those unspoken things, right? You you learn how to communicate with the public through your ad posting. You learn what works. You learn what's going on and how to handle different things, right? And you it's need the to same create thing. a template yeah. before yeah. you start posting ads. You have to have templates of all the products that are in the anchor offers. Then you can start posting ads. And guys, for those of you that don't know what she's talking about, I go over ad posting every weekend. It's not a training, guys, but I'm doing my own ad posting in the study halls. So I also do pages. I also do cleanup. I also show you how to social media market because that's what I'm doing on my own business. So if you're coming in on the study halls, not only do you get to work on your own stuff, but you also get to see some stuff that you might not have known about, right? So you don't have to stay the whole time. You could pop in. No, pop not at out. all. Yep. Ask your questions, you know, and hop in and a hop out. And, you know, at hard times, she's a trooper, man. She sits in there with me for the, the, the duration. You know, she works on her business. That's that's called motivation, guys. We give each other motivation to keep working our business. Right. And she's she's bringing in new members, too. So she sure is. Hello, people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But that's you that make sure that she gets all our, the information. Yeah. Yeah. She makes we sure take that all she gets the information from the week and we apply it on the weekend because that's when Hartens, people like Hartens and I have time to work on our own business. Right. We're not just instructors here, guys. We have our own PBS too. You know, we're our own individual business owner too. So that's yep. when you can see us working on our businesses is on the weekends. Any any more questions? Anybody have any questions? Because I know we're going over here. Oh, okay. Then I'll see all of you on Thursday <laughs> tomorrow, right. right? We're also we're also okay. now into the study hall. So if anyone has any questions for PBS, yeah. now it's time to ask as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, also, I wanted to remind you that uh, this Thursday at uh, 8 o'clock Eastern time, we're having the product specialist, uh, Blanca Martinez, on the special Zoom meeting, going over the products for Vela Vida. So that's at uh, on Thursday at this, well, tomorrow, you know, at 8 o'clock. Yeah. So just to remind you of that. Do you okay. want to stop the recording, Tom? Wait. All right, folks, we appreciate you coming. Sure. Super wealth of information. Thank you, Laurie and Donna. And Nell isn't here, but thank you, Nell. And everybody that was here today. We had a great turnout. It's better than we've ever had. And, you know, I'm thankful for that. And we appreciate you all coming. And <clears throat> you have a great day. And see you at Brain Food tonight also at um, 830. All right. You have a good day.
Take care. See you next week. <laughs>